In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this basic crochet hat with ear flaps. In addition to your yarn, you will also need a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And this one is a size six to 12 months. For round one, we'll begin with a magic circle. So take the yarn, wrap it around your fingers, reach through, bring up a loop. Chain one to secure your yarn. And now we'll do eight single crochet into that magic circle. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we're going to make sure that the stitches didn't get twisted up and you'll grab that little tail and give it a pull and that closes up the hole. And at this point you should have eight stitches. For round two, we're going to do one increase in each stitch. And for the increase, you'll go into the stitch and do one single crochet, back into the same stitch for another single crochet. And that is an increase. And so now you'll just Continue to do one increase in each stitch all the way around. And once you've reached the end of this round, you should have a total of 16 stitches. For round three, we're going to do a repeating sequence of one single crochet followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat one single crochet and one increase. And once you've come to the end of this round, you should have 24 stitches. For round four, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you come to the end of this round, you should still have 24 stitches. For round five, we'll do a repeating sequence of one single crochet followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat one single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 36 stitches. For round six, we'll do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should still have 36 stitches. For round seven, we're going to do a repeating sequence of two single crochet, followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 48 stitches. For round eight, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should still have 48 stitches. For round nine, our repeating sequence will be three single crochet, followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat three single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 60 stitches. For round 
10, our repeating sequence will be 19 single crochet followed by one increase. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and one increase. And you'll continue to repeat 19 single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 63 stitches. For rounds 11 through 24, we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of round 24, you should still have 63 stitches. Once you have finished round 24, you can remove the stitch marker and we'll begin on the first ear flap. And so for row one of the first ear flap, we're going to chain one and then do 13 single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, and now you'll chain one and turn. For rows two through five, we're going to do 13 single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And at the end of each row, you'll chain one, and turn. For round six, we'll begin with a decrease. So you'll go into the stitch, bring up a loop, go to the next stitch, bring up a loop, grab the yarn, and pull through all three of those loops. That is a decrease. And now we'll do nine single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a decrease. And now you'll chain one and turn. For round seven, we'll do one decrease and then seven single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, and now one decrease, and chain one, and turn. For round eight, we'll do one decrease, and then five single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, then one decrease, chain one, and turn. For round nine, we'll do one decrease, then three single crochet, one, two, three, and one decrease, and then chain one and turn. For round 10, we'll do one decrease, then one single crochet, and then one decrease. And that's the end of the first ear flap. And so now we'll tie off and cut your yarn. And then take a moment to weave in this end and your beginning tail. For the second ear flap, you're going to start counting at the first unused stitch and we're going to skip 23 stitches, which brings me to here. So this is stitch number 23. So in stitch number 24, you will attach your yarn. And chain one. And now for row one of the second ear flap, we're going to do 13 single crochet. And you can hold that tail against your work and that will catch it inside the stitches. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we can just drop that tail. There's eight nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And now you'll chain one and turn. For rows two through five, we're going to do 13 single crochet, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and at the end of each row, you will chain one and turn. For row six, we'll start with a decrease, then do nine single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, and then one decrease, chain one, and turn. For round seven, we'll do one decrease, and then seven single crochet, this one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now one decrease, and then chain one, and turn. For row eight, we'll start with one decrease, and now we'll do five single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, and then one decrease, and chain one, and turn. For row nine, we'll start with a decrease, and then do three single crochet. One, two, three, and then one decrease, and chain one, and turn. For row 10, we'll do one decrease, and then one single crochet and one decrease. And if you're going to do, so that brings us to the end of ear flap number two. If you're going to do your border in the same color, at this point you will chain one, turn and continue on with the border or if you're going to change colors, which is what I'm going to do for this video, you will simply tie off, cut your yarn, weave in these ends, and then you'll be ready to switch to your other color. If you're using a different color for your border, you will come to the edge of the ear flap and attach your yarn. And then we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So this is for either color choice. You'll just start doing one single crochet in each stitch and as you're going along the side of the ear flap, you'll go into the last stitch of each row and do one single crochet. Just working down the side of the ear flap. Find the stitch at the end of each row. And then when you get to the main part of the hat, you'll do one single crochet in each stitch going across the edge of the hat. So just one single crochet in each stitch. And then once we come to the next ear flap, we'll repeat the process for the side of the ear flap. And so now you'll just work your way up the side of the next ear flap going into the stitch 
at the end of each row. And then when you get to this part of the ear flap, you'll do one single crochet in each of those stitches. And then you'll continue the same process down the ear flap, across the hat, and up the other side of the ear flap. And here I've worked my way all the way around. I'm going to do a single crochet into the stitch that I attached my yarn. And then slip stitch into that next stitch and tie off. And you'll cut your yarn and weave in those ends. For the ties that attach to the ear flaps, we're going to cut six strips of yarn at about 22 inches long. And you can do them all in one color, or you could do like I did here, where I did, I cut four yellow and two white, and then put it into two groups of three strands each, and each group has two yellow and one white. And then to attach the yarn to the ear flap, I just use my crochet hook. Grab my three strands of yarn, pull one end through, and then we'll pull it. Make sure you get your ends all even. And then we'll break this up into groups of two. So you'll have three groups with two strands of yarn in each. And then we're just going to braid, just do a simple braid going down the length of those strips of yarn. And you wanna braid as far down as you can go. Just keep braiding until we get to the very end of the yarn. And then once you've done that, we're going to take the end and tie it in a knot. And if you've already done your first one, you want to line that up so you can make sure that you get your second one. So the second knot is at the same length as your first one. And then I'll braid these in here. And then we'll just line your two knots up and then Trim your yarn to the length you want. Just make sure they're all equally sized. And there we go. The ties are attached. And the hat is done.